Hello dear friends, Shurma here. A very warm welcome to you all and I am so happy to have you on my channel today. In this video, I am going to share with you how to paint festive floral in one stroke style. This is going to be a very interesting and detailed project and I am sure you will love it. So here is the list of the materials which I would be using today. So in the first chapter I will tell you how to prepare the background for the festive floral painting. To start with I have three elements with me. The first one being a white note card which is 10 inches by 14 inches in size. The second one is a white watercolour paper, almost the same size. The third one is another watercolour paper with a hand drawn line on it. And its size being 10 inches by 10 inches. So right now I will remove the first and the third element and only work with the second one that is the watercolour paper. I am dropping some liquid watercolours on it and I am trying to create a background as you see. And thereafter I use a stencil and use some gold acrylic colour to create a beautiful effect on the watercolored background. There you go. That is how I drop the acrylic color through the stencil on the watercolored paper. Now I have a beautiful sparkly background for my floral painting. That brings us to chapter number 2. Painting the flower in one stroke style. So I have the background and this you remember is the third element and I would be creating the floral painting around that particular hand drawn line. So here is the palette for the floral painting. Light blue, purple, deep magenta, sky blue, aqua green and white acrylic and I have a flat brush number 6. I am loading the brush with light blue then sky blue and I am blending the colors well and I am also adding a bit of white to it. So this is triple loading of the brush and the style of painting is one stroke style. Thereafter I pick up my flat brush number 4 and I have dipped it in deep magenta and blue and created a loose form of the floral which I would like to paint and that is going to be a rose. I go back to my flat brush number 6 and I have loaded it with light blue and sky blue at present and I am trying to create the first layer of the petals of the rose flower. I will go ahead and add white to the mix whenever I need to add some highlights and you will see in a bit. So please follow me as I create the festive floral painting in one stroke style. Let me tell you why I am calling this as festive floral. Now the festive season has already begun in my country India. Tomorrow marks the beginning of the Navaratri or Navadurga festival. Now this is the Ashwin month according to the Hindu Sakya calendar that is based on lunar and solar cycles and it falls during the September and October months of the Gregorian calendar. 
Now this is the time, as the legend says, Goddess Durga visits her natal home with her children. Hence, we welcome her with beautiful rituals and celebrations. Goddess Durga or the Divine Mother as we usually address her symbolizes the divine forces known as Shakti that is the feminine energy that is used against negative forces of evil. She represents the power of supreme being that preserves moral order and righteousness in the creation. Navaratri festival is also a post monsoon harvest festival celebrating the goddess as the motherly power behind all of life and creation. Just after the monsoon as it is right now planet earth is resplendent in its beautiful colors and grandeur and it is all set to welcome goddess durga amongst us so let us welcome the divine shakti with the recitation of a beautiful devi stotra which is in sanskrit and i quote ya devi sarvabhuteshu shanti rupena sanskrita Namaste say, Namaste say, Namaste say, Namo Namaha. Let me share the meaning with you. Mother Durga is the omnipresent one. She is the personification of the universal mother. She is the embodiment of power, peace and intelligence in all beings. I worship her with all devotion so that she blesses one and all with happiness and prosperity. On that awesome divine note, I come back to the painting and I hope this humble creation would be worthy enough to be presented to my mother Durga. Well, once I'm done with the floral part of the painting, it's time to move on to chapter number three that is adding foliage to the painting. Here is the palette, deep green, deep magenta, light blue, white acrylic, aqua green, bamboo green and olive green which is hidden over there. So sorry about that. So here I am loading my flat brush number six with deep green and olive green and a bit of white. Next, I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 4 and load it with a bit of aqua green and thereafter deep green and just color around the edges of the flower painting. And this helps to bring the flower to the foreground. If you have watched me paint the floral images in my previous video tutorials, then you must have known by now that I'm a great fan of one stroke style of painting. And why not? It is so simple, lucid, as well as helps to create awesome floral paintings with just few strokes of the brush. Before I say anything more, I would like you not to lose sight of that pencil line because I would be fussy cutting around that line once I'm done with the panel. So as I was saying, in case you are new to one stroke style of painting or you would like to refresh your floral and leaf skills, then I would encourage you to visit my past videos and I would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below. So once I'm happy with the painting around the edges of the flower, I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and I load it with dark green, olive green and white. And I have also added a tinge of bamboo to create that beautiful lemony effect. 
So these are one stroke style leaves in the making. For these leaves I have picked up purple along with white and a bit of aqua green and that creates a beautiful difference in the foliage colors and also adds a bit of interest to the painted panel. These are some slider leaves with aqua green, purple and white. I'm adding some of that purple to the leaves which I had already painted just to give it some dramatic twist. Now these are with aqua green and white and a bit of sky blue. The fact of the matter is I am trying to add leaves in certain spots just to balance the painting. These leaves are super light because I have added more of white to aqua green. Well, I think the composition looks good enough at this point. So that leads us to the final chapter and that is assembling the festive floral painting note card. Here are the three elements which have to be put together. First is the note card, second is the sparkly watercolor background and the third element on which I have painted the floral composition and I have snipped along that pencil line if you remember and I have also fussy cut the elements which come above the pencil line. So once all the elements are put together this is how it looks. I just went ahead and added a sentiment to complete the note card. And yes it's a wrap on today's project. Hope you enjoyed watching me paint the festive floral in one stroke style. Do let me know in the comments below and it would be a great pleasure to read what you think about it. Also, please click on the suggested videos towards the end of this particular one and that will lead you to more such interesting painting videos. Please connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. Appreciate your watching till the end and I will be back very soon with more such interesting floral videos. So stay tuned and bye bye.